Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So my lovely kind Emma has come in and as you can probably tell from the title she has a really wide um, nail beds. They're just her natural nail bed shape and so it's really very rare that I will record or picture her nails not because they're horrible but just because sometimes making wide nail beds look elegant is sometimes difficult um, especially if they have them short which is what Emma likes because she does just have a newborn baby so she likes her nails quite short um, and so I'm going to show you how I do them today so I've done all my prep work as always um, if you want to watch a video on how I specifically do that it will be in the description box you can go back and take a look I will be doing updated version one soon as well just to include some extra steps that I've been taking um, I've applied my forms, I've done all like the dehydrating, de 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 dehydration and all of that uh, and I've applied two coats of acid bond primer and allowed them to dry before applying any acrylic onto that. The forms that I'm using that I love for wide nails are the Glitter Planet ones, they are the Nail Mate ones and you can use my code LIZ10 if you want to go ahead and get yourself some of them. The link is in the description box for that as well. So what I'm doing is I'm applying my clear tip because we're going to do some glitter um, tips on these nails. So I'm just applying that clear acrylic just from where that free edge comes out. I'm not taking it all the way down to the edge of the nail bed. Otherwise, we're just going to end up with a really wide tip. Um, I have pinched the forms as well. And then I'm using a more at the cuticle area. I did just apply a little bit too much of a big bead then. So I'm just literally swiping some of that away and blending it down. And then I'm going to go back and pinch that pinky. So pinching is a massive help for wide nails. So really always, like sometimes for me I forget to pinch nails. But I do pinch my forms. But with wide nail beds I will pinch as well. I've skipped to the middle finger because it is just exactly the same as all the other fingers so rather than just bore you with the same steps over and over again I just skipped onto the index and now I'm going to show you these glitters so the glitters I'm using today are actually from Sonia Williams nail artist and I went ahead and purchased some of her glitters um yeah so this one is called lilac luster and it is like a multi-cut lilac with holographic bits it's actually really really pretty and then over on top of that i'm going to use the pink fairy shards now i'm not taking this glitter all the way down to the edge of that clear acrylic i'm leaving room for the shaping of the nails and by that i mean um when you shape obviously you have to compensate a little bit for your shaping so you know i like to take the acrylic down further but I leave that room so I can shape the nails nicely without hitting that glitter. So that is why I don't take it all the way down to that very end of the clear acrylic. Um, after I've dabbed in some of those pink fairy shards, I will just like feather that acrylic down. Uh, sorry, the acrylic, the glitter down a little bit more. There goes the fairy shards just to give something extra. And then I will just leave that to set and move on to the next nail. So I've left the next nail in because we're going to add a snowflake onto this. So I'm picking up a really small bead of clear acrylic. I am then placing it into the raw glitter, like doing a little wiggle and then placing it on the nail and kind of just nudging that around. And then if I need to add any more glitter, I will just dip my wet brush into that raw glitter and then dab it into the wet um, acrylic and glitter that's already on the nail. And then that way we just avoid over balking the nail. And then I'm going to use these gorgeous mixed snowflakes after the fairy shards, of course. And I'm just going to plank that right there <laughs> on the nail. Now, some people say that these are so flat they find them difficult to work with. I didn't have any issues today. But if you are struggling, um, I recommend just like wiggling them around your brush so they're more curved rather than flat and that way they stick more onto the nail better and you're not going to end up filing some of those tips of the snowflakes away so then obviously we're just going to cap all of the nails placing my first bead to uh, cover the glitter and then obviously to make my apex there I just do that in the two bead method I just find that gives me a nice apex 
and then we're going to come on to filing and shaping so i'm taking this again this flat head bit from the gel bowl ink i'm going up the sides removing that excess acrylic there and bulk she did just want them filed down a little bit more so you will see me just removing some of the length as well so up the sides around the cuticle area to make that nice and flush to the natural nail and then cut off some of that free edge and then what I will do is go in with my hand file. So I'm just deep bulking, really focusing around those sides because that is where the bulk, where the bulk is that we don't want the bulk. So we're trying to give the illusion that these nails are more slender than what they are. And so that is why I focus a lot of my attention on those sidewall areas. I keep the strength and the bulk in the center of the nail and really just um feather out those side walls this is where i now come in with my hand file and finish off shaping the nail so obviously i'm doing this i said obviously a lot in this video obviously 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 well it's not obvious is it but <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going through all 10 nails as I'm doing this. So I'll take my e-file, I will file all 10 nails. Then I'll take my hand file, I will file all 10 nails. And I'll go that way again and again. Obviously, I just record the one hand. So this is where I'll finish up my shaping. So I'm taking that file there. I flipped my client's hand around. I will file flat on the top to give that nice, crisp, tapered square. And then I will come in the side walls as well and give that nice tapered sharp look so again i will go from the free edge up towards the cuticle area making sure i'm lifting my file up so i don't avoid taking away the apex and then just like you know really blending out that cuticle area really blending out those side walls just to really finish up the nail and make it look as crisp and as nice as i possibly can now, because the length was taken off a little bit, it was a little bit thicker than I'd like. So I just took my e-file again, just removed some of that thickness from the top of the nail and from underneath the nail because we, you know, we had our clear layer, then our glitter, then our cap layer. So just again, finishing up the nail. And then once I'm happy with all the nails, how they are shaped, I will come in with a white buffing block and really go in and buff all those nails nice and smooth. So again, flipped her hand around. You can see me there just um, perfecting the side walls and going on the free edge. Just needed a little bit more debulk in there. And then there you have it. And then I've cleaned away all the dust on all the nails and now we're top coating and you can just see that beautiful glitter come to life. It is so stunning. Just teamed with CJP Crystal Glass and their top glass. It is just amazing. I love them. I will leave a link in the description box to where I purchased the glitters, the snowflakes and the shards. And all other links as well will always be in the description box of what I've used. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how I make wide nail beds look nice i really love this set of nails my client really loved one they were so sparkly in real life and i really hope you've enjoyed watching the video too i love you all so much and i'll see you all again on monday oh another thing i wanted to ask before we finish is would you like to see some haul videos of like like you know glitter hauls and stuff like that is that something that you would want to watch let me know i love you all bye bye